Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. See what's going on for Leo. By the way, happy birthday to any of you celebrating birthdays this week. So, first up, we have the Queen of Cups in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana Justice upright. And next we have the Knight of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Swords upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Lovers in the upright. So I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, for your overall energy, Leo, you have that of the Queen of Cups in the upright position. The Queen of Cups is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, it could be this, you could be definitely embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups this week. Uh, if that is the case, you could be feeling very, standing on very strong emotional ground. The Queen of Cups is just like her counterpart, the um, uh, King of Cups. She's very emotionally mature. She's run the gauntlet on emotions. However, she's also extremely compassionate, caring, and very understanding. For some of you, this could represent a counselor or uh, somebody maybe that you're dealing with, could be a family member, a friend, um, <clears throat> even a coworker, could be somebody who's showing a lot of compassion, caring, and understanding towards you and your situation on the emotional front. This can be a mentor, this can be somebody who's being uh, very, she can be a shoulder to cry on, so forth. This is very uh, understanding and compassionate person. So coming right off the hop, we have the energies of Major Arcana, the uh, Justice in the upright position. This is the Libra card, some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Um, the Justice card brings justice and fairness and balance into a situation that perhaps has gone out of balance. Uh, good news for any of you, say, for example, if you're dealing with the legal system, this can point to uh, legal matters and situations turning out in your favor. For others of you, this can represent some kind of uh, legal, well, not really legal, but I mean, even like work situation. If you have um, uh, arbitration going on at work or things like that, could be that the matter gets resolved at the early part of the week. And again, it's in your favor. Justice is here for you, Leo. Um, even in a, a personal situation, it could be that things uh, turn out in your favor if you've been feeling like things are unfair in your family or friend circle or so forth or even your relationship. It could be that, you know, there's equality and balance returning to the situation. Now, it is paired up here with the Knight of Swords in the upright position. This is another core card. This time we're dealing with air energy, that of... Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. We do see the Libra card here. Some of you could definitely be dealing with the Libra, but others of you could be ex um, experiencing this week some very uh, fast-moving communication. Um, nights often can sometimes uh, bring in um, an offer and for some of you perhaps this is an offer a written offer or a verbal offer for others of you this could just be really fast moving communication the knight of swords just rushes in it's such rushed out energy that i even pick it up from the card um you could be ex just experiencing something really fast moving towards you uh could be a person could be a, a romantic suitor moving towards you very quickly uh, with a lot to say, uh, could be offering to take you out, uh, wanting to take you out, or have a lot of long-winded uh, communication with you about wanting to take you out. Uh, for others of you, it's just, um, like I said, fast-moving communication. He sometimes comes out of nowhere. His communication is very quick. It can be sharp, and it can be... Um, very enlightening as well. Uh, this person carries with them a lot of information, can speak very rapidly as well too. And uh, moving on, we do have the Ace of Swords here in the upright position. This is good news. This is clarity for any of you who were unclear about a situation. Definitely the way the cards are laid out here, it looks like with justice here, could be a legal situation. Then the information comes to you very quickly 
uh, about an offer. You are very clear about everything because here's the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth. It's new beginning in communications. It can be for some of you, perhaps, if uh, you were not feeling like you were communicating or someone else was not communicating with you correctly. Could be they come in with their their communication and there is no wiggle room here you know exactly what they're communicating what they're talking about the truth is out here this is the sword also of a victory so some of you could be receiving a victory in this whole situation if it's a legal battle that's for sure and the last card you have up is Major Arcana of the Lovers. This is the Gemini card now uh, in the upright position. We have the Libra card here and the Gemini card here and uh, Air Energy. So definitely it looks like this week um, a lot of Leos could be dealing with uh, air signs. So the Lovers in the upright position points to partnerships and unions and uh, this can be business partnerships, this can represent uh, romantic partnerships, absolutely. This can represent a choice between two people. This can also represent um, just making a decision. The, the lovers is all about that choice. It's known as the choice card. So this is about making a decision. It could be about a partnership. It could be about a romantic relationship. But you know what? Go ahead and make the decision because you have all the information now that you need in order to make an informed decision about your way forward. So it looks like at the end of the week, there's a big decision coming, Leo, about a, um, a close partnership or relationship. And in closing, I will be pulling an Oracle card from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck and see what your card is. And this is your card, Leo. Impatience? Yeah, impatience. Oh yes, see, he's reaching. He's reaching for something. It just seems to be a little bit out of reach. Maybe whatever it is that you're you're trying to get moving here, you're being really impatient about it. You just want it to, you know... Okay, I have a lot to say on this matter, but I do need to wrap up the video. So that is your reading. Um, I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.